another day another unboxing so motherboards now this one has been out for about i would just say a year year and a half around about that time um, MSI released this motherboard and i decided i needed a motherboard because um, a new motherboard because i'm doing a project and um, i'm gonna do a case modding on a pc which um where i'm just gonna use the, um, the motherboard uh panel that's inside the case box to mount the, the motherboard and then i'm gonna rebuild it in the entirely new case because um i was challenged by a friend that i'm not able just by fabricating i don't know if you guys watched the movie um or the tv series was on um, angels of shield and my friend um made a bet with me that i cannot build a pc inside this airbus plane and also not only should i build it like that i should make the this um box do what the plane can do except the flying part but i don't know if you guys noticed in the series the engines moving up and down at the back engines moving up and down rattles at the back opening up and all these things door opening up the back and I should make it as close as possible or a replica of it to the TV series at the same time it being a computer box and at the same time making sure I have ventilation for the for the airflow but still looking like this Airbus well I do watch Marvel movies and I must say I enjoy it a lot I think it's it's great movies uh, I'm coming out kind of a um, a comic fan, a comic book fan. I mean, I used to read them when I was young. Don't buy them anymore, but I used to. I have some old ones laying around here somewhere. But yeah, so that's my challenge. So I, I of course accepted because he actually was crazy enough to bet me quite a large amount of money. Well, I'm up for it, and I know this friend of mine. We might bet before. We don't lose. He's always good when it comes to paying. So that's why I accept this challenge. And he gave me at least four months to do this. But anyway, I had to start somewhere. So I had to look at motherboards. Now, I know I told you guys before I'll be using, I'll be doing a review on a motherboard soon. And I thought I had this motherboard lying around. It's not the smallest motherboard for a build. But what I can say is that I think it will make a good build when it comes to for the um, for the for the customization i want to do so i decided okay i'll do that and uh, i don't know i most probably a lot of you guys heard about this motherboard but this msi is a quite nice looking motherboard and it's also in my opinion budget wise it works and it's not that big it only has space for one um graphics card but at the end of the day, if you're looking for space and to save space, if this may come to case moorings and you don't want the case too big, that's a good size. And like I said, there are smaller motherboards, but I had this one in hand, so why buy a new one? I just have to make the, the box a little bigger than it should, but I think the size will do quite fine for the job I wanted to do. Now, this is the, um, this is the AM4 socket. It's, it's got the, the P350 chipset. It got a graphic interface, PCI 3.0, um, and C, um, 16 slot, two DIMMs, dual channel DDR4, 3200 gigahertz. So it got the things that you need. Okay, it's got four SATA, six gigabyte ports, one M2 slot. It got six USB 2.0 slots and six usb 3.1 gen and it's got a 7.1 channel high definition audio okay and then um it's got video for boost so yeah and it give, uh, it gives your memory a better performance when you're boosting up it also got um you can also use your VR on this for virtual reality games and it, it comes with a lot of things for the price tag and like I said before, oh yeah, I didn't just told you guys the price. The price for me is reasonable on this one board. Um, uh, if you make it in dollars, I would say it, it cost me between 70 and 80 dollars. And like I always say in my videos, it's always companies 
or people that will try to sell it for more money. So, here you go, here's the motherboard, let me just take it out. And I must say, it's actually a quite good looking motherboard. Good, you got a nice black background, everything is done in red, you know, where your circuits are running. This motherboard does come with four LEDs, they are very small, so we have to show them to you guys. They are very small, but it does come with this, with the LEDs here, yeah, at each corner, so it lights up. And you got your BIOS battery here, your PCI slots. You also got your PCI armor. That's a good feature. But the way the board looks, I would say it's a very good looking board. Let me just get it into the light because I got some shade in my room here. So yeah, if you guys can see the board, DVI, um, DVI VGA, and all the ports. You got one HDMI port right there. So it's a quite good looking board. And I don't think I have to go through to you guys because all boards, with a few exceptions and differences with the new boards, you got your normal USB inputs, restart um, button where you plug in all your um, front port, um, front cables right here. So it's virtually everything the same. Your four SATA ports are over here, 24 pin here, 8 pin right over there. That's in the box. The first item or the main item from the box what comes with it so you got the motherboard play yet plate here it's come touches with it then you get two SATA cables six gigabyte SATA cables SATA three What I like about this is you got a manual and yet also shows you because this motherboard if I didn't mention it before is fusion ready so if you have um, cooler master you were using water cooling on it, it this cooler master with RGB fusion it's got a little plug in you can plug that in and this thermal takes so a lot of things that can go in here when it comes to fusion or on any 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 make that says so on the box graphics card um, CPU coolers, um, fans that says fusion, um, um, compatible with fusion, then they will all work on this type of motherboards, no matter which company is making them. There you got that, your manual, then you got another small kind of card here, and it actually shows you your dumb slots, and it says in order to assess and boot your computer, we strongly recommend installing the memory models as shown below. So this is the memory modules that they're showing you below. If you want your computer to perform at your best. First time I saw that in a mother in a mother box. You saw it before. Maybe you guys did, but I never did. And it shows you also. There's actually a picture that looks like the new um Ryzen um, CPU cooler that comes with the with the CPU. Right there. What's next in here? Your software CD okay dvd and then you have a thank you card also please register your msi product you can register your product at msi website the card like that in there then you have your quick installation guide i don't think we can go through that but actually some steps on how to install this motherboard and this i don't know if you guys like it but i think if it's for free and it comes with a motherboard, it's still a nice thing to have. But this is like tags. So yeah, like you put, you take the stick off and you tag it around your cable. And you say this side of the cable is connected to this hard drive. At each end you put one. And you know, this side is where the Windows is installed. This side is where this, um, the, the, this files are installed. So when you're working with cables and they're all the same color, you can see. The same with this. All cable tags, so you don't get confused. But what I do is... I actually buy Velcro, and what you guys can do is you guys can get it on AliExpress. Is they quite cheap and they're quite good quality? And I buy different colors, from yellow, green, blue, red, white, black Velcro. I buy because I never use this little cables it comes with. You know when you buy, let me see this one here. No, there's nothing here. But normally when you buy something, uh, 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 appliance for your kitchen or something, 
There's a little um, wire strips, this black wire strips that they turned around to hold the cables together until you unbox it. I don't like that stuff because as time goes by, that little metal or little plastic wash off and that little metal piece sometimes falls inside your box. And for me, they don't look that tidy. I buy this thin Velcro and you cut them into the sizes you want. You can reuse them and you just turn them around the cables where you want. And especially when you have different colors, you know this type, this colors are used for, for this cables and you don't get confused with them. So that's why I got all kinds of colors. For me, it's just the best way of working. Um, when it comes to cable management so box are empty that is what came on this motherboard and it's a quite nice looking motherboard I mean you guys have to agree for the price between 70 and 80 dollars I mean it's worth it I will leave a link to the MSI um, website with more specifics where you guys can read up about the motherboard if there's anything I forgot to mention in this video so you guys can just check it out and see what you guys think but this motherboard I'll be using and I will keep you guys up to date now with this project I have um, that I have to do and I have to see when do I have the time but I also don't want to lose a bit I don't like losing period especially to this body of mine but yeah I think um, the, the motherboard looks really good and the price really um, it's a it's a good motherboard it, it's a good price for for somebody also that's starting out with gaming and doesn't have a lot of money to spend you know I, I, I think it's just as ideal okay so yeah so as I said before guys um, if you have any comments or any questions or there's something in this video I didn't mention please feel free to add a comment ask a question also select like or dislike it's however you guys feel and please feel free to subscribe and like I always to my videos I am trying to make more videos I'm really trying but I actually have another job so but when I do have time I do make videos and I will try to make it worth your while when you do subscribe to my channel okay guys till next time cheers